Good evening, everyone, and thank you for coming to my channel, and thank you for the support you have provided me on my channel. Don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel, share my videos, like my videos, and hit that bell for notifications so you know when I upload videos, okay, so you can stay in the know. But let's get on into this episode of Merit to Medicine. We're going to see if we can try to do it quick, fast, and in a hurry. Because it wasn't nothing but, ooh, child, a terrible gold, uh, girl's cold. <laughs> okay? The title of the uh, episode we just saw for Season 7, Episode 6, it was called Girl Cold uh, Interrupted. All right? Basically, the setting is uh, the girls are going out to... Uh, Savannah for a girl's quick getaway for our trip and a lot of things just have been transpiring on the boat I mean the boat ride the bus ride and it was just a whole episode of fussing 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 I mean I I'm a, a female I'm a woman and lord I'm like can I take some can I take an Uber the rest of the trip? Because I can't take it I would have my earphones on I would have been in some um uh, clothes like Toya had on. She had on really like travel clothes, some jeans, a simple t-shirt, and was just, you know, uh, relaxing, uh, uh, serving relaxation. The rest of the women was kind of dressed, I wouldn't say to the nines, but, you know, like they were going to maybe uh, lunch or something. It was just too formal, the majority of them, except for Toya, okay? But like I said, the whole episode was fussing about the four-hour ride to Savannah. Uh, being cooped up with all the women for that long of a ride. They Once they got to Savannah, they were talking about the living arrangements. But then when Dr. Jackie did it respectfully and sympathetically put the women together that she felt would be cohesive. They would have the same likes and desires. And, you know, they would, they would be good room buddies for that weekend trip they were taking. Uh, then they were fussing about uh, why they had to wear all white, and Jack was explaining the reason why we wore all white, because we need to have a revival with our relationship. We need to be in sync with one another, because right now, we just everywhere and nowhere at the same damn time. <laughs> I mean, that's what she was giving. Okay, then they started fussing about um, why they can't love on each other. Why Quar, Mariah, Toya... And Dr. Heaven I always have to get in fights, verbal fights all the time to where they want to get physical. Then they was fussing about, uh, they were riding back home, or were riding back to their uh, house they were renting out. And then Jackie couldn't even get into the um, the house. She had said she misplaced her keys. But I think that was just scripted in because, you know, before the episode went off, she got them keys from somewhere, okay? Uh, then, you know, at the time they were uh, discussing uh, some things, they were asking Mariah, why did you tell Aiden about the paint and silk party? They didn't have to know nothing about no strippers and Dr. Heaven said, yeah, because uh, Damien started talking to me about it and the hell, I ain't, I ain't tell him that. I mean, I didn't do nothing. We know Heaven was all out there trying to tell the little boy to come over there so she could see his little penis and all that stuff. She knows she's wrong, but you know, Heaven ain't never a liar. And I I don't know why people don't call her behind now because that how the hell got a foul mouth i mean she cussed this cussed that and then she called herself you know walking a christian life i'm like you have to be on sit your behind down please okay she just got a filthy mouth i ain't too much liking heavenly at this time she may grow back on me but she just i mean go on and say what you got to say you very well educated so Try to use less cuss words and talk it out, okay? But she just like to cuss, 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 cuss. This foul mouth on me. Okay, and then we got Quad. Quad is telling, you know, everyone that she ain't lying on Mariah. She know what she walked in on. And I'm everybody trying to say, well, are you sure? Are you sure, baby? Because this is a real detrimental, uh, defamatory, ah, defamatory type of uh, accusation, girl. Are you sure you saw that? Maybe she was just sniffing some uh, stand bag <laughs> or some goodies. You know, they can take the uh, place of the sense of it, you know, what y'all thought she was doing, cocaine or whatever. And Qua said, no, emphatically, she did it. I saw it and it's undisputed. Okay. Then, um, of course, Toya and her her uh, confessionals, she's pretty much shading everybody. Well, not really everybody. She's just uh, shading Dr. Hamblin 
and uh, Buffy. <laughs> and I can see why Buffy don't have any friends from this episode. Because like I said, I was just jumping back in to reviewing uh, Married to Medicine. And all the players of the game was the same except for Contessa. And Buffy. But I'm telling you, Buffy's just too high on the hog. She's too high up on the pedal. So she don't pass Mariah. So I guess she up there in heaven somewhere. All right. And the Lord don't even know it. That she down. That's how high she got herself, honey. She way up in them clouds. Okay. And can't come down to see no human being on this earth. So I'm like, girl, you have really been done some damage to. Did you know? Did you know that you a human being? You bleed red blood just like the rest of us. You breathe the same oxygen that everybody else in the uh global world breed. Girl, what are you doing? You know, you just are drawing negative attention to yourself because people are looking at you like you're stupid. But anyway, um, and that was pretty much, and of course, Quad and Mariah are totally shading each other throughout this whole episode. But that was the gist of everything. But I'll go into different parts of the episode on uh, the particular person individually. Okay, we got Dr. Jack and this whole scene is taking place because, you know, she got the trip together. So they all compiling or, or gathering at her house because that's where the uh, rental bus is going to be, the party bus or however you want to see it. Um, it's gonna take them to Savannah, and of course, um, who shows up first? Oh, well, uh, Curtis was going over with Dr. Jack and saying, You know, you sure you're gonna be able to handle these women because they're kind of rough, you know, they 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 very well educated, but they can get kind of foul mouthed and rough. You sure you sure you don't need no backup? Basically, that's what he was trying to say, but he seems very happy, um, compared to what I've seen him in past uh videos. So I'm glad they're uh, definitely working things out because he definitely seems very happy. So Jackie must be doing her thing. Okay, kudos to her. But um, let me see. Comes in. Dr. Heaven is the first one to show up. And I think Quad and Contessa are the last ones to show up. And there, you know, of course, Jack is being the great host. She has breakfast for them. Dr. Hevelyn sitting over there tomorrow. Oh, honey, I'm glad you got the ingredients and this, that, and the third. Okay, so, you know, she's a big eater anyway, but she's holding her weight, maintaining her weight loss real well. Um... And that's pretty much it. Uh, I didn't like the fact that Cecil brought, well, yeah, I mean, he could have brought her out, but he just seemed like he had to get camera time because none, none of the other women, uh, husbands escorted them to over um, Jackie's house. But maybe he wanted to kick it with uh, Curtis. I don't know. But uh, all the women compiled in the bus, got on, and they got to rolling uh, to their destination, which was, uh, what do you call it, uh, Savannah. So, uh, basically, uh, Jackie's whole point was she was giving out room assignments. She did that very well. Uh, she explains why they are wearing white. Jackie said it's a revival. It's re revival time for their uh, actual cleansing of their friendship. They need to get back on the right track because right now, somehow, they've definitely all gotten off of track. And she needs them to be cohesive. She needs to be back as a unity uh, type of formation, a good karma circle with positive energy and style, all this negative stuff going on. Uh, Jackie tells Contessa, you're being very passive aggressive when Contessa uh, tells the women that she quit or she withdrew from her um, medical um, secondary, post-secondary education. She was trying to receive her master's degree and I forgot what it was, but she withdrew because her family, mostly her kids were suffering and she felt her husband really wasn't supporting her. He wants to get his way. He always does. This and third toy was saying, well, did you ask your husband or you did you sit and talk with him? Because her and Eugene, they have this pact where if she can't move, he can't move. You know, they have to be in very good communication with one another. Whatever he's going to do, she's going to have to be able to follow him. Whatever she want to do, he got to be able to follow her. They got to be synced. So she was saying, I don't think you really told him sincerely how you felt before you embarked on getting your education. Um, then Jackie uh, chimed in and said, yeah, I believe I, I'm with Toya on that. I think you you were being a lot of passive aggressive instead of just being extroverted about it, being upfront. And letting him know these are the things, why you want to do this, why you're going to this school and getting his input. And y'all make a decision together whether it was going to be a feasible, doable thing with all the parties being somewhat happy about the transition. So uh, then Jackie uh, wanted 
during her revival time with the women, her thoughts of having the uh, revival girls trip was to get them back on their goal girl code and they had to make up new rules and regulations of what we're gonna do in our circle and what we're not gonna do and it was just really paying homage to all of them being respectful to one another and not try to throw either one of them uh under the bus for whatever reason uh, let me see she tells everybody to work that write their goal girl uh, goal girl code down of what is like something she wants or they want all the women to uh, adhere to and to definitely uh, not break the code because it's just going to start chaos in the circle and trust is not going to be uh, a thing in the present. It's going to be something in the past. Um, Jackie says she wants the women to be uplifting one another, not tearing each other down all the time, not just when they feel it's necessary. Um and then Jackie couldn't get back into the uh, hotel. They all start fussing. Yeah, they've been fussing from the beginning, the middle, and the end of the trip, look like. <laughs> uh, Jackie, once they all get back into their set assigned roommates, uh, uh, room assignments, she uh, goes in and tells Contessa she has tried to communicate with Mariah several times. She thinks she's breaking through to Mariah's shell, but she always comes up empty handed. Okay, that was pretty much it. Um, Jackie just not, she just wants people to act accordingly. And when they don't, and she felt she done gave it all she could give, that was it. She ain't going to do too much more. She just going to really listen and not listen. Okay, we move on to Simone. Um, like I said, Cecil brought Simone over to Jackie's house. You know, he started making these little ender windows that while they're gone, Cecil and the rest of the men uh, are going to throw a party, a super paint party, and da 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 And, you know, Dr. Helen got to open up her mouth and say something foul and disrespectful and all that stuff. And, you know, all the women were pretty much saying, no, nah, don't do that. It wasn't that serious. It was Toya's fault, pretty much. Um, uh, when we were doing, or they were doing their little unity circle and making their girl, new girl codes, some, Dr. Simone was stressing that, hey, if it's going to be a problem with us as women let us stay in our circle let's not go and start talking about family members you know like uh, the husbands or the children all like that let's keep that uh away we don't need to bring them in the circle when we have individual problems or concerns with one another let's not go for the families so um everybody agreed on to that one um simone talks to buffy about mariah and quad and you know it's just no solution period that was after the dinner how everything just blew up because buffy was calling herself being a little entertained but yet had a little heartfelt thing that maybe some day soon uh they'll have a resolution you know it ain't even long. it ain't gonna sweat her no way no way shape form or fashion so she don't really care she's just playing up for the cameras okay then we move on to mariah uh, Mariah, basically is Mariah, as we all know, um, Mariah and, um, Toya are sharing rooms, which they love each other right now anyway, and, um, of course, uh, Dr. Heaven, I forgot to say, well, I ain't got to her, but when we got, when they got to the whole, the, uh, house they were renting out, uh, Dr. Heaven had called the house old and looked like the Anna Horror House, and, you know, I don't know where they get Dr. Heaven from, <laughs> Like, for her to be so smart, so intelligent, so well-rounded, she can just be the ghetto ghettoist of them all. I'm like, it is no real rhyme or reason why she act this way. She just feel like she can say whatever, whatever she wants, and she just, everybody just has to take it, you know? I'm like, oh, my goodness. And my brother actually went to her for some dental services, and he said she was the nicest woman <laughs> you could meet. But I told him, honey, how she be acting on TV? I, I, I beg to do but you know my brother's a truthful guy so he you know but he likes everybody so he don't catch nothing but his wife didn't really think that she was all of that <laughs> so i'm like maybe not to have him just act that way towards men but women if she feels she has some competition with uh then she ain't gonna fare well with them but anyway um Mariah tells Heaven, uh, no, Toya, that they got to cover the mirrors because that's where the spirits come in. You know, this is what her mother always told her, and this, that, and the third. Okay. Uh, but Mariah, basically, she wants to be the center of attention, as always. 
She definitely feels that everybody has taken quad side. Everybody likes quad over her. Everybody just takes quad uh, word for you know verbatim. They don't see any lies or innuendos that quad may be you know faking and 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 putting up this fictitious story lying about her because she don't do drugs and then Dr. Heaven like yes you do do drugs <laughs> yeah but you know she goes to really whining the whole uh, time at the um the table when they were talking about making their gold uh, girl calls and this that and third and she was starting there but she didn't quite finish because when they were getting up ready to go you know J Jackie kind of knew something was still wrong with her because she wasn't moving her body language her body language was saying other little things. And she was like, honey, are you okay? And then, you know, of course, Mariah going to laugh for the cameras. And then she said, yeah, I am. And she said, I don't think so. And then Mariah said, hell no, I'm not. <laughs> but Mariah just cut the food when they got riding back um, from the uh, girls' dinner. And she just, 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 oh, she was just a hot mess. She was a time bomb. And before that was over with, Quad got into it with Mariah. Then, uh, Heavenly got into it with Toya. Oh, it just went back and forth. Contessa got upset. She couldn't handle it. Dr. Simone just looking like she didn't know where she was coming or going. Buffy was acting all like, what the hell is going on? And Jack was just looking else just stunned. <laughs> That's a hot mess. But moving on from that situation, we go to Toya. Toya's, uh, she just throwing shade at everybody. And she was uh, picking at Dr. Heavenly. Um, uh, well, uh, when she was saying, "Oh yeah, you you was over there pain, right?" So you weren't looking at nobody's uh swinging penises and all that. And of course, you know, um, uh, you know, Doctor Heavenly gonna say, "No, no, no, no," mm -mm. and then Tori gonna make a little fat joke towards Heavenly, and Heavenly just looking at her like she crazy, like, "Okay, I'm gonna let that swap slide. I'm not gonna even really go there with you. It just is what it is." Um, let me see. Toya, she's talking about. Oh yeah, I told you about that. Her and Eugene are in sync about what each other can do outside of each other's um uh, eyes or their contact. Um, Toya asked Quad, "Have you gotten your divorce yet?" Seeing like Quad during the dinner setting, and Quad looked like she basically wanted to come at her, uh, pull her across the table and beat her a silly. Okay, but you know she kind of got smart back with Toya, but Toya wasn't letting up. She was just waiting for her answer. And, of course, Quad just went on and gave her what she requested to know. And uh, they moved on from that situation. Toya tells Quad, I went with Mariah to take a drug test and she came up negative. Quad said, uh, the test just might have been inconclusive. <laughs> like, so Quad, your word uh, is golden, but medical technology science is wrong when they did Mariah's test. Is that what you're trying to tell the people, girl? Okay, but that's that's crazy. Then Toy comes in and confronts her. She tries to, uh, you know, Mariah's still upset. It's a scene where she goes in. She goes to check on her friend. She uh, finds out over here she's talking to Aiden, and Aiden is fussing on the floor when Mariah has strictly told him that she started the stuff. She brought the situation up. And, of course, he's saying, why you do that? Why did you bring up the situation? You know, he was talking. You could hardly hear it. But it was just, yes, I'm with Aiden. Why did you bring up the situation? So, you know, of course, Mariah wants uh, camera time. And she got it. Um, But then Toy gets Mariah to calm down, get her outside. They talk a little bit, get their fresh air. And they pray about the whole situation. Um, and I'm surprised. I said, Oh, Toy, you're praying woman. Okay, okay, girl. I see a different side to Toy every time I watch this ep uh, episode of American Medicine. So I'm really liking that. I am. I am really liking that. Okay, let's see who else we need to talk about. Quad wasn't really doing anything but just, you know, telling her truth that uh, Mariah is a liar, has always been a liar, has always been a manipulator, and she was doing drugs, and she's not lying about it, da-da-da-da-da-da. Uh, when Quad was getting her room assignment, she was trying to say, you know, because uh, her and Heavenly are uh, in the same room sharing it. And she's like, do we got to share the same bathroom? I said, Quad, you too much. You are just too much, girl. Then we go on to Buffy. Buffy just, I, I don't know what to say about Buffy. Buffy crazy. Uh Buffy, Buffy, <laughs> Buffy is crazy, okay? She's going around there crying at the table saying she don't know why 
uh people uh getting on her nerves because uh she don't have good friends because her friends can't take her success okay uh buffy by her own sheets i ain't got no problem with that because when i travel or my daughter travels we take our own sheets too because we don't know what they wash and we, we just good at hygiene okay and, and we need we don't need no bed bugs and all that stuff so i can see why buffy brought her sheets but you know both buffy was going around there at the table saying she she just don't understand why people uh look down on her uh her success it's hard for her to make friends because of, she's so successful <laughs> Uh -uh, I can't take it. We're going to slide off of Buffy because she was just too much. Um, then we got Dr. Heavenly finally. Uh, Damien comes in in the middle of the episode while she's trying to get ready for her trip. He goes on to say, you know, I heard y'all had this girl's uh, painting and sipping party. It was naked me and running around there. And she said, well, Damien, I was going to tell you about it. But honey, you work so hard. You come home. We have sex and you fall asleep. <laughs> And Dame is sitting there looking like, oh, 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 yeah, you got me on that. <laughs> I'm like, uh-uh, we ain't going to talk about him no more. But Dr. Heavenly, she was just going back and forth with the women. Toya was shading her because she got tired of people, you know, trying. Well, Dr. Simone brought it up saying Toya finally got into her new house. Da -da -dee, da -da -da. Everybody was congrat congratulating her. Of course, Dr. Heavenly had something negative to say about it. Like, damn, it ain't like she did this, that, and the first. She just got a damn house, okay? And uh, Toya got that widow saying no. I got a house and I got another one, okay? She said, well, damn, I make more money than you in this, that, and third. And then Toya saying, well, okay, that may be true, but your house looks like it's 50000 <laughs> She said she make it, it worth $50,000. I was like, oh, God. Toya, you killing me, girl. You kidding? Now, she's the strongest, shadiest person I know. <laughs> Honey, I'm like, girl, you need to go over to the Real Housewives of Atlanta because them women don't do nothing but shade over there. Okay, but your, your shade is so quick and funny and too hurry. Dr. Heavenly can't even catch up with you. Well, um, Dr. Contessa, uh, we'll move on to her. She really wasn't giving me too much of anything. She's just whining. Uh, she don't know what to do with herself. She, I, I'm with her husband. I don't think she know what she wants. But she was uh basically at the dinner table. She was trying to show. I think it was Toya. She was showing that. You see what I'm saying? He 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 going telling me he going out with the boys for the weekend. And you know, I guess he left him with a sitter or somebody. But the kids gonna be on her whenever she get back home. Cause he don't know when he coming back home when the weekend is over with. <laughs> So she said, see, he just wants to do him. He don't want to let me do me and this, that, and the third. I was like, okay, okay, you got them rich uh, woman problems, okay? We, you know, it just is what it is, honey. We got two people trying to be in professional careers, and they're trying to grow, but at least you got a husband that want to provide for you. You know what I'm saying? Because you could just work part-time and get your time in as a, as a wife and do this, that, and the third. But, hey. Uh, you roaring, you want to roar, and you just got to take the punches as they come, okay? But that's all I had for Merit to Medicine, uh, season six, episode, I'm sorry, episode six, season seven, and it was called, uh, shoot, uh, Girls Code Interrupted. All right, y'all enjoy y'all night, and that's all I had to say about this episode. Greetings and goodbye. Oh, and thank you for uh, supporting my channel. Continue to subscribe, 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 like and share my videos. But again, subscribe because I'm trying to get to 10,000 before June of next year. Okay, and I know we can do it. We can do it together. Let's just support each other, all right? All right. Um, peace and blessings. Good night.